Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for back app and this is Talking to the Architect. Today we'll be discussing popular choices for back-end programming languages. So, as you probably know at this point, a back-end is a piece of software that runs in a server. So, it could be a physical server or a virtual server somewhere, but it's a server in the end of the day. So you could potentially use any programming language and its compiler that is capable to uh, produce binaries for those servers to write your back-end uh, software. That said, uh, you're usually tied to the options that your cloud provider gives you. So if you have a server of yourself that you can run uh, any piece of software that you want, you can basically choose the, uh, whatever language that you like the most and produce your back-end code. But when you use a platform to, the, to do that, you need to use the language that the platform tells you to. So here at back for app we use JavaScript because uh, JavaScript is a hugely popular language. It's the most common and most popular programming, programming language uh, in the world. So we can very easily find developers that know JavaScript. It's also very well documented through time. So anything that you can possibly need in JavaScript, you'll probably find documentation about it. And it's also compatible with NPM modules because on our side, we run uh, uh, Node.js, which is essentially JavaScript, and, and you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time you need to do something. You can go to npmjs.com, download all the NPM modules that do whatever you need to do, integrate your code, and you're good to go. But that said, there are other platforms that allows for the run uh, of different languages. So, uh, for instance, uh, we have Ruby on Rails, which is extremely popular and very, very productive as well. Uh, we also see other platforms that allow you to run uh, Python code, which is also very popular and very easy to, to learn. And in a smaller manner, we see other providers that allows for, for running of Java and C Sharp code, which are very good languages, but Interestingly, not very popular uh, among uh, back-end developers. So, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow. And if you have any suggestions of any topic that you want to hear about it, please leave it down on the comments. We will try to make a video especially for you. So, see you soon. Bye-bye.